Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers with Quality Crafts. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Free Play Friday, where we do a technique or something really fun using um, card making things or a, just a spe specific technique. Lots of really cool things. Sometimes we just play around with products and just shout out our ideas and just play around with something together. Today, I am actually going to show you a really simple technique and it is a sale weekend. So sale weekends, we usually do something that's a little bit shorter. And then in between on the other Fridays, we do something that's a little bit more um, extended, a little bit more difficult or something that takes a little bit longer. So we have a really exciting fuchsia flower and um, what there's a little bird, hummingbird in it that we're going to do next Friday. So stick around for that. It's going to be really cool. If you've never been here before, please consider subscribing if you've liked the content so far or you enjoyed this video, this tutorial. And click on the bell notification so you get notified when we release other videos. Most of the time we do videos Monday and Wednesday, 1 in 10 by Jen, and then every Friday we do one of these. This one's going to be short because it's a sale weekend, and if you are unfamiliar with my channel and my sales and you don't know what that means, it means if you are a supporter of our community and you pledge on Patreon, patreon.com backslash quality crafts, you are in a special group and I do a one hour pre-sale tonight after this video just for you. Usually um, they get uh, like discounts or they get to see things that you guys don't get to see first. So they get first dibs at buying things that people are excited about, that type of thing. And then on sale weekends on Saturday is the public sale. So that's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Penny runs that with me. She is behind the scenes running her tail off, or I should say tapping her fingers off, trying to get everything into their uh, system so that you can get an invoiced, um, an itemized invoice when we send out on Saturday uh, right after the sale. So make sure that if you are purchasing that you are ready to pay. So we'll send out the invoice right after that sale on Saturday evening. Um, you pay right away and then we get everything all put together and it all goes out on Monday. So let's get, let's continue on what we're doing tonight. We are actually doing this really simple chalkboard style of card. You can call it anything that you want, but we're really specifically not using chalk. Motorcycle. I have the windows open. It's a gorgeous day. It's actually sunny now, even though it's been overcast all day, but it's been really, really, really a beautiful, cool, breezy day. I have the windows open and I'm loving it. Mary Beth, okay, catch you later, girl. Hello, everybody. Hey, Kathy. Ms. Texas Crafts, hello. I'm guessing that's Michelle from the teeny tiny icon I can see. Hey, welcome. Tina's here, and Sharon Schaefer, Sandy Marino, Mary Beth, Bonnie Lipke. Nice to have you guys. So let's go ahead and start this simple card. It's really, really easy. For the actual chalking part, we're just taking black cardstock, nothing fancy. I have a real light, probably a 65 pound black um, cardstock that I picked up, who knows, maybe Michael's or Big Store. Hey, Debbie. Yeah, it's been raining a lot. It really has. So that'll be what's on the outside cover of my card. You can always put one on the inside too if you feel like, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a white, regular white card base. You can do whatever you like. You can add color underneath. You could do layers, stuff like that. Hey, Barb, nice to see you. If you're new, leave me some emoticons, little hearts and stuff so I know who you are. Let me know that you're new and that you've been, or that, you know, that you've never been here before so that we can know who you are. Be willing to answer any questions for you. So let's go ahead and do one that's just a little bit differently shaped. I'm going to have to cut these down. Yeah. So these already are cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half, but that's going to cover up the whole entirety of it. So I'll probably be cutting these down by about a quarter of an inch. And I like to fold my cards by sticking it in my little bone folder here, my little um, Martha Stewart. Whoops, did the wrong number. Go back. This one's a five and a half. So the longer side you do at five and a half, and then the shorter side you do at four and a quarter. Good thing I made extras. There's always a mistake somewhere. So there we go. My card is ready, and then I'm going to actually I'm going to cut this down a four. 
before I start so that I know that it's going to fit on the front of my card and that I don't cut off something that I really liked that I got on there. The heartburn is gone, Barb. Thanks. I'm not sure if you were talking about me. I know I mentioned it a while ago. Oh, and now the other, now the um, emergencies are going to start cropping up. Oh, boy. Okay. There we go. So I know that's going to fit on there. Now, the first one that I did, I showed you guys right away. So you had something pretty to look at while I was talking. I like to call these poofs. And I really like this stamp set by Maymay because... I love the busyness of the people that walk around, but honestly, I live really, really close to an emergency um, police station. Um, so I'm, I like this set a lot because it has the poofs. I love them. And then it also has a lot of like, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I missed your birthday, I remember too late. Things like that where that's typically the kind of card I send out a lot. So let's open this up and we'll just kind of decide along the way how we want to make this one. Robin. Hey, Beth. Bonnie, how's it going today? Okay. So I'm definitely going to do the poofs because that's the biggest feature of this stamp set. I'm going to do this one. I will probably have extra time. I can always pull out another stamp set. But the biggest part of this is that you want some Versamark some white embossing powder, and then a stamp set, whatever you want to put on it. It's going to be all black and white, so it's pretty basically simple. Stamp what you want, where you want it on your sheet. I'm going to do this poof. Oh, and I set this one out so I wouldn't remember to go over the paper, and I forgot anyway. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to just shake this off real quick. I want to show you something too now that I'm thinking of it this can be wiped off that powder that I just got on there but it's gonna stop this white stuff from sticking everywhere the white embossing powder but do you see how I had that on there stamped I'm gonna brush that off you would think that doing that okay that's good now I can go over it right let me show you something I'm gonna go back over that with the powder again check it out that's how much that this Versamark will stay sticky. I got that, that flower on there just as beautiful as I did the first time. And I'm pretty sure that this, after the fact, isn't going to cover it up either. So I'm going to show you that as well. Let me go ahead and wipe this off again. I'm going to go over the card with my little embossing buddy, my homemade one. And then I'm going to go over it again to see... How many of you guys think, how many of you guys think, tell me in the comments, and I, I know there's legs, so I'm going to wait. How do you guys think that that's still going to um, print out or stick and show the poof? And how many of you guys think that going over it after putting Versamark on it once and then going it over it with your anti-static, your powder bag, powder bag or whatever you have, think that it's still going to stick and how many think that it's not going to stick? I'm curious. Before I dump this, I want to give you a chance to answer that. How sticky do we think this first up, this first mark is? Will it stick or will it not stick? Hey, Chrissy. Hi, sweetheart. Debbie Evans, still stick. Kathy Godwin, not stick. Sharon Schaefer, stick. D, stick. Wow, we've got lots of them coming in. Some, A lot of you guys think it'll still stick. Let's do it again. Check it out. Look at that. Last time I did this, um, Kathy, I was right with you. I was totally totally convinced that once I went over it with this that I would be able to go over and do another thing 
Not so much. This stuff is amazing. Let's try it again. We're going to just tap it off. I know because this, the technique I'm showing you today, seriously, is going to be so super easy and so quick that let's do it again. Now I went over it again, dusted it off, and I went over it with my powder, my powder pad. Mine actually, my little embossing buddy here, my homemade one, actually has baby powder in it. So I'm going to try it again. Now this time... Who thinks it's going to stick and who thinks it's not going to stick? I'll wait. So I've put my embossing my embossing tool over the whole thing twice. How many of you guys think it'll stick now? And how many of you guys think it won't stick? This will be the last time and then we'll move on. I don't know, D. that's a really good question. How many times can we do this? That's second. This is the second time. How many think it's still going to stick? We've got some yeses. It's still going to stick. <laughs> I just think it's interesting to push some of our supplies and see really how far they'll go. I'll give it just another 30 seconds or so because I know I know there's a lag. There always is. So you know that you're going to have a lot of time in between when you use this stuff. Hey, Carol Ann. So if you're just coming in, we've dusted off the powder and gone over it with our anti-static powder twice. Do you think it'll stick? Look at that. Just as well as it did the first and second time. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. But now I had my finger resting on there. Do you see how that was stayed black and then everything, all this stuff powder just started sticking right there? That's what we don't want. We don't want that extra powder sticking around. That would be fun to know. If I had extra bands, I could do that. So I'm going to go ahead and heat set that now. Now we can play around with these and see like maybe I want one like coming in. Do I want to do like the whole background or and you can do anything you want but I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to get a little bit creative here. I'll go ahead and do the edge again just because I've been sticking my fingers all over it. I'm going to stick my hair. I'm kind of making sure that it goes like close to the edge or off the side so it's not just like floating in the middle of the paper. Tracy. So if any of you guys are new to embossing, black and white is a really good place to start because this is so obvious when it turns wet. And if you ever had difficulty with it, you want to wait until it just turns and it's shiny and take the heat away from it. The longer you leave the heat, the more it's just going to melt right into the paper. So if you've ever had difficulty, try starting with something like this, what I'm doing today. Like bring in black and white and just give it a try and watch that change. And I think that your, I think that your skill with that will get much better. I'm going to get one bigger block here. That one's just a little bit too small. So if you are a patron, don't forget, we have our patron-only sale tonight. 
And I want to let you know that we're doing it on Zoom. And that will be listed in the patron group. I'm going to put one here, going out to the other edge. Oh, and you know what today also is? I didn't even know this. I actually, a friend just told me. This is actually the last day of school. But I've been working from home, and it's been, like, really quiet. And so um, I didn't even realize it was the last day of school. So woohoo, I'm on, I'm on summer break from my job. That looks really cool. I like the way that they're all coming together like that. And then this set also has this little tiny little pieces of poof that came off that are cool. No wings. What? Well, if you have them too often, you'll get sick of them, right? All right, there's two little poofs, so two little poof pieces. So I'm going to use both of them. Then I'll, I'll put them on a little block here so you can see them. And then I'm going to put them around. My, my phone is still on. I apologize for all the noise there. But probably should turn that down for you. Sometimes people try to call me and they're like, well, your phone was off. I'm like, well, sometimes, sometimes you just have to have it off. All right, so these have like, there's just like two little tiny poofs here. See how little they are? So I'm gonna spread some little poofs here. Just in like maybe three little random places. You don't have to do that part. I mean, obviously your creativity will take over. Use whatever stamp sets you wanna use. You can make it look like a, a menu. You can make it look like, you know, like it's a birthday card, but you've got like, I don't know. There's just a lot of really cool things you can do with this. I have a lot of embossing powder and stuff all over my table already. I've been real, I've been real messy. A lot of it's my powder. All right. So let's go ahead and heat set that. I'm going to close this up for now. Move that over. Hi, Elise. The dandelion set is actually called, let's see if we can find the name of it. It's called Sorry. So if you're looking for it, that's the name of it. You got to look for it over at Mamie Made It. towels behind me. So I'm just going to take my towel now and just rub over this so that you can see that the um, white powder will come off and your paper will look black again. Do you see that? Let me show it to you again too in case you're, you use it and it looks like a little bit gray, which is the look we're going for today, obviously, because we want it to be chalky, but your powder from your powder tool will wipe off. So if you're doing this for a different kind of look and you don't want the chalkboard look you can definitely wipe that powder off it's not a big deal but if you're looking for the chalking part here is how you do that you just use any kind of white paint super super light so like this one literally only has a little bit of a re-inker I have whisper white stamping up re-inker in here because there was nothing in this um there was nothing in this pad at all to start with so if you look here where there's some white, and I put my finger on there, do you see the white? It's still pretty potent, so I'm going to be careful how much I use. I'm going to dip it into there. Ooh, jump on it, you guys. So 
So do you see how much I'm going to get? Be careful which tool you use and how hard you press when you're doing your chalking. You can use all kinds of different things. I'm going to use this though, and I'm just going to go really softly over mine. So like, let's say I want it to be like chalky over this guy. Maybe I want a little bit. I'm going to save this part down here to put something down there. Maybe I want this part to be a little bit chalky. You get to decide where you want that chalkiness to be. If you've got some ABC alphabet stamps that you haven't used in a great while, and I know we all have them, and we, you know, we think we're going to use them and then we don't, bring those out. Make your, make your greetings on the outside look like chalk. Use those alphabet sets that you've been having sitting around that never get used. Um, this is one of the perfect times to use that. It's just super fun. You can go around the whole thing. You can make it a lot darker. It's totally up to you. Oh, look at that. You can get this set on May May Made It. $9.99 for the set right now on sale. It's a really cute set, you guys. So this one I've already put, sorry, you've been down. So maybe I want to do something a little different with this one. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to put my little poofies back in there so I don't lose them. I love to use, if you'll hear me, if you watch my channel, so if you love my channel and you want to um, get more and not miss it, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification. You'll find out that I love to use the extra little pieces that people put into their stamp set. It's just so much fun. And I'm going to look around on here and see what do I want to use on this one. Maybe you guys want to help me. I'll let you see up close here. I'll hold this up for a bit. Let me know which one of these you like the best. Do you like, um, can I have a do-over? Please forgive me. I was wrong. Or, oh, down here, this one says, my bad. I love how she adds in the trendy things that we say and what's going on in the world into her stamp sets. She has some of the best stamp sets ever. So I will give you, because of some of the lag, another minute or so so people can join in. Let me know which one you really like, what you'd like me to put on this card. I'm going to concentrate on this corner of the card right here. So I won't be able to do a, like a super, super long one. I've got one. Hey, Kathy Webb. It's been so long. Oh, I like that one. Do over. I think we're going to get a, cute, a few more within the next few seconds here, and then we'll decide. Or maybe we can fit them both in. Let me see how big that one is. Ooh, that one's just going to fit. It's been so long. All right. I think we're going to do both of them. I'm going to put them both together. I'm going to say, it's been so long. Can I have a do-over? I'm going to put them both together there. It's been so long. Can I have a do-over? That looks really cool. We only need a, a short one for that one. Maybe this one. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and go over this with my tool. Thank you guys for helping me choose. That's like one of my favorite parts of my videos. So when you guys help me pick. There we go. Isn't this an easy way to do this project? And it's so cute. It's so different. It's like when you get bored of the same old, you just pick up some uh, another idea and go along. Okay. 
let's go ahead and set this one. I know I have a, a couple of my cords are tangled up a bit. Doesn't take long. Now when I go over this to get rid of my powder on the bottom, you'll notice that when I, if I go over the whole thing, that the white is going to stay there. The chalking is not going to come off, but that powder did. Now it's black on the bottom. See that? I'm looking at that thinking, oh, maybe I want to add a little bit to the edges here. All right, cool. Here's our prepared card base, which is four and a half by five four and a quarter by five and a half. <laughs> it's been a while since I've said that. That is so cute. Let's go ahead and put that down. You could even use this. Well, it looks like there's a lot of, there's a lot on the back. I'm just going to wipe that off. Some of it's just stuck there because it got heated there. You could use this technique to add like one little dash of color. Like let's say I put in these stamped little um, stems alone and then I put like one little puff of like color. Like maybe the lines came together and I put one little red flower in the middle of it and then put a sentiment. That would pop really, really well. Any kind of a color would pop right off of there. Cute, cute card. All right, let's go ahead and put these guys back on there. What time do we got? 527. Can somebody private message Sherry Larson with the link so she can get that stamp set if she wants it? Thank you guys for helping each other out. I appreciate that. I think I'm going to call that done. Can you, can you guys let me know? Do you have any questions? Do you like this technique? Can you see yourself doing it? And do you think it's super simple or not? I would love to hear your opinions. I'm going to save some of these because I'll probably be doing more later. Debbie Evans, fun question. What do you do with all the cards you make on Friday? Just curious. A lot of them I save. Some of them I give. But um, let me see if I can find one of my one of my little containers for you. Here's one of my boxes. So as I'm creating, as I'm making cards, let's see which way will go best. I'm popping them in here. And so a lot of my cards are here. Ones that I'm going to do are in here. Maybe ones I've already finished are in here. Here's a few that we did already. If you haven't seen some of the shaker cards, I did a video on this uh, butterfly where you can take your stamps and turn them into glittered art. It's on acetate and it's on the back, so you don't touch the glitter. You don't feel it. Here's some of the foil that we sell. So I, when I play around with those, I save these. Anything I do that's, that is the, um, I love this one. This is one of the uh, embossing folders that we sell. I don't know if this one's in stock right now. And then that's got the, oh, what's it called? The embossing, has somebody helped me out? That embossing folder, that was so cool. Or embossing powder, I mean. We have this, the holographic embossing powder. We have that in now. I'm not sure for how long, because that one, oh, and look, this one's like my free play Friday. 
not my free play Friday, I'm sorry, envelope challenge of the month. So if you want to become a supportive community member and do the envelope challenge for, um, every month, go ahead and join us on Patreon. And then somebody every month sends out an envelope with stuff and then you have to create using the stuff that's in it. Here's another one that we've done on the channel if you haven't seen that, how to make a flat shaker. Those are super fun. That one actually even has like the chalking behind it as well. Beautiful. So yeah, that's what I do with most of my cards. I, I collect them and then I have ones to back up. Like if all of a sudden I'm like, oh dang, I need a card for this. I can go into here and I can pick. And I usually have something that I can stamp on a sentiment and send to somebody. I'll have to look up the name of that embossing folder. I'm not sure which one that one's it, which one that one is. Does anybody have any other questions for me? Texas. I know we got a few in. Um, that's another reason for joining in on the, pa uh, the patron side too. Is if you like things and you want to be the first to see them, that's a great place to start. I will probably be selling that um, this evening. I can't be sure if that's going to be available tomorrow or if we'll have to do a pre-order for those. So if you don't get it then, um, most of the time we do do extra orders. Uh, I love that embossing powder. I think it's absolutely stunning. So go ahead and give your thumbs up. Hit that um, subscribe button down below. And don't forget to join us. If you want to do the 1 in 10s that are every Monday and Wednesday at 5, um, join us on the Quality Crafts group that's in... <laughs> that's in... Uh, uh, on Facebook because that's where we can get you connected with everybody and don't forget that we're still doing live zooms every Tuesday Thursday and every other Saturday when there's not a sale and we're starting to collect quite a large group of people but we would love to have more there's not always a huge group every time we do the zooms but they're super fun while people are chatting you're getting a lot done when you it just kind of ebbs and flows when you're not doing as much and you just need a break you're chatting but it's so much fun. A lot of people say that they get tons more done with that than they do any other time. Penny has announced that most of our Ranger pre-orders have arrived. So if you ordered um, spray inks, if you ordered stencils, if you ordered what other kind of stuff was in there. Um, most of that stuff is in your bin already. Yeah, Rosie. Feel free to watch it again. Um, if you're watching, you know, replay too, leave me um, leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you think of this project. Do you like it? Do you like Free Play Friday? Do you like um, 1 in 10 by Jen? I would love to have a dialogue with you. If you have any qu other questions besides that, always feel free to contact either myself or Penny, Penny Jo Ratcliffe on Facebook, and we'd be happy to help you out, answer your questions. And we also, um, don't forget our store... Um, is open all the time, and that is on qualitycrafts.com. The links to Patreon should be there. The link to our pay, to our um, community group should be there for Facebook. So if you get confused, it's always qualitycrafts.com. Awesome. Oh, hey, Linda. Sherry says it's fun and relaxing. Stephanie Romines would like to zoom again. They're super, super fun. So there's lots to offer you in our community, and we would love to have you join in. So if you are new, um, let us know. Get a hold of us. We'd love to help you out with anything that you need. We can always do pre-orders and special orders if you don't see what you have. <laughs> but he says we laugh and we talk about everything. Okay, so if you are a patron, our private sale is going on right after this at 6. So I always leave here a little bit early so I can get everything set up and be prepared. And then tomorrow, there will be the sale for the public. So if you're interested in checking it out, if you want to tap a friend and bring them along and tell them that you you know this cool place to get craft stuff, let them know. Bring them in. We would love to see them. Um, let's see. 
Oh, yes, and you'll get to see my new baby boy soon. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to let you guys go so that I can get set up. And um, I can't wait until two or next Friday. Don't miss next Friday because it is going to be the fuchsia flowers and the background and the whole nine yards. And it's going to be a lot longer than this one. And it's really, really neat. If you are around us a lot, if you zoom with us a lot, you'll find out a lot more of that information if you like to be in on that type of thing. So I hope to see you then. And I cannot wait to see you guys next video.